Hello, everybody. Look, I'm gonna can be honest with you guys. Oh, I shouldn't have said that that early in the video. I have to wait seven seconds. I'm gonna be fucking honest with you guys. I just got back from a reading, okay? I have had quite a few drinks. I came home. I sit down. I eat a little bag of chips while I'm checking YouTube. Bookish posts a video two hours ago. It's fucking 1.30 in the morning where I'm at. Okay. <coughs> this video he posts. <coughs> it's called Things I Hate About the Online Book Community. <coughs> I'm just going to be honest. His video is fucking amazing. Go watch the video. I'll try to remember to link it down below. He said some things that triggered me like a motherfucker. Okay. He, being as nice as he is, was still a little mad, but still nicer than what the fuck I'm going to fucking say to you motherfuckers right now, okay? So let's just fucking be real, okay? So, I don't know if you guys know this, but I used to have a booktube channel. This channel that you're watching now used to be strictly booktube, and in my channel, I had some issues with a lot of stupid motherfuckers that um, would Monday morning quarterback their way through the books they read with a big old fucking smirk on their face while they had no pants on. Okay? We'll leave it at that. Then you had all these other douchebags that fancied themselves as writers, but like to bitch about shit in, the, in their spare time, which, how the fuck are you reading this many books if you're allegedly a writer? I don't fucking know. Whatever, okay? I'm not gonna bitch. So, basically, between those folks and the BookTube community that is on YouTube... I started to kind of pull away a little bit because I realized, oh, shit, people would rather hear me talk about my process in writing than talk about what I think about books along the guise of doing your Friday reads and your fucking tags and all your other fucking booktube shit which don't get me wrong is a lot of fun when you're in the community but when you're on the outskirts of the community i.e me when you were doing those things it wasn't as fun because i don't know if you guys realize this but when you watch most booktube videos most people fucking say the exact same thing about the exact same books that are coming out at the exact same time, okay? Because this video did well. Why did this video do well? Oh, because this is a popular book. Oh, well, who gives a shit? Oh, well, they said this one thing about this popular book and said it in a really nice and polite way, and they really loved the book. Oh, that's interesting. Guess what happens? A bunch of people who like that book are now going to like that channel. Oh my god. It's just like, hey, guess what, everybody? Water is wet. Now all of you who agree that water is wet are going to like my channel because we all agree that water is wet and we are one of the same. Jesus fucking Christ. <coughs> Bullshit. Okay? Whatever. That's a small sliver of the booktube suckling community. Who gives a shit? Okay. But with all that said, what was, what was Brian's fucking question here? Things I hate about the online book community. Guess what? I'm fucking game. I'm ready to fucking go. I've had um, a six pack plus a beer and a couple bottles of wine and I did some fucking horrific things tonight, so I'm ready to fucking go. Let's fucking do this thing. Here's the deal. Brian um, did this video. The crazy thing about this, Brian did this video 
based off of two other videos that I don't understand how Brian got to where he was off of the videos that he watched. <laughs> the first video, the video who inspired this whole thing, I don't even know the name of the channel. I'm really sorry, I already forgot. The second video was the tag video from Books I'm Not Reading, which is a lovely channel. Um, go show her some love. <laughs> then Brian's just like, hey, guess what? I'm pissed off and I'm going to fucking yell and scream about shit. And he didn't yell. And he, dude, seriously, this motherfucker says, uh, like, I'm not good at math and shit. This motherfucker started throwing percentages out. Dude, I'm like trying to fucking like have a beer and fucking smoke a cigarette. And I'm like, dude, calm. Like, what? Dude, fuck. Dude, all of a sudden he said like 23% and I'm like, how the, f like, I'm like, <laughs> mind blown. It might just be because of my level of um, partying this evening, but this motherfucker got where he got so fucking quick. I was just like, holy shit. I was watching him at 1.5 speed. I normally watch all my videos at two speed, but he was on one, dude. And when someone's on one, you got to slow that fucking video down because motherfuckers be talking. You know what I'm saying? So now that this video that I'm doing is way too long. That's what she said. Which not to be a dick, but that's what she said to me tonight too, which is why I'm sitting here and not somewhere else. Oh, let's get into this shit before I decide, oh, I need to edit this video. I'm going to be kind of going off of some of the things that he said. Oh, okay. Oh, this is a good one. This is such a good one. Oh my God. I want you guys to look at the color of my skin right now while I say this to you. Okay. Look at me. Look at me. Look at the color of my skin. You know, shut the fuck up. Okay. So... There is a large wing on booktube of white, straight dudes, typically 30s and 40s, maybe 50s, possibly 60s, okay? Now, these translucent motherfuckers, okay, they get so bent out of shape because of, wait, what? What did Tucker say and then Mr. Sean said and then Laura Instagram say? Oh, what is it? And Ron. Did... Yes, I'm sorry. Um, all of this woke bullshit, okay, that is making it impossible for white fucking males who are straight, who like doing penis to vagina sexual activity. Making it impossible for them to get fucking published. All these fucking book prizes and publishers, all they want is balls against balls and clam on clam action. These fucking bastards. Oh, I can't put a book out because I don't bend that way. I don't swing that way. Good God almighty. Why the fuck can't I get a book deal? Okay, so we're gonna pop this cherry like prom night, okay? Here's the fucking thing. I've talked about this on my channel before, and I'm so fucking sick of having to fucking say this to people. And Brian, over on Bookish, brought up a really fucking good point. And what was that point? Percentages. We're gonna talk math. I'm not gonna get as deep as Brian gets in math because he gets fucking granular okay i'm not gonna fucking do that because i had to take algebra first semester twice failed both times how did i graduate i'm not gonna tell you but it had to it was kind of political I'm not gonna lie it had to do with me getting somebody fired who the other teachers didn't like so make it that what you will motherfucker hustles that's how things go back to this shit if roughly 50% of the population is male. Let's, let's agree to that. We have two choices. When the baby pops out of the baby chute, it's either going to be a dude or a chick. Okay? Now, um, whatever you want to do after that, like, well, you know, like, I kind of feel more female than male. Da -da -da -da, doesn't matter. At the beginning of the day... Okay, when that baby bungee jumps 
off the bridge, which is known as the fucking in between the stirrups, in between Mama's crotch and Doctor's face. Okay, when this fucking happens, chances are it's a coin flip if this is a male or a female. Okay, judging by all other statistics, if this person is gay, if this person is trans, the percentages are so fucking low. Okay, what I'm trying to say is there is a good possibility that every child born is going to be straight and 50% chance it's going to be male. Okay, now I know your holy Fox News tries to tell you some other crazy fucking thing that scares the shit out of you to where you're afraid to pull your dick out in a public bathroom when you take a piss. But let's just say that what I'm saying is accurate, okay? If this is true, and most men in all of these states in America think like you, why is it that you can't sell your shit? I'm gonna let you think about it for a minute. I'm gonna take a couple hits on my cigarette, maybe take a sip of my beer. I might even answer a text message. You know, it's only what? Fucking 1.33 in the morning. <clears throat> on the West Coast, in Los Angeles, California, U.S. motherfucking A, okay? Tell me. Answer this question for me. Why is it that you, as a straight fucking white male, can't get your fucking book published? Why is it? That straight white males aren't flooding your inbox full of manuscripts or galleys of their fucking books for you to read. Why is it? Think about it. I'm going to let you have a minute. Okay. Okay, I'm done letting you have a minute. Like, you've had way too much of my fucking time. The reason is, is because you fucking suck. You're not good. Just because you're white, just because you're straight, does not give you an inherent gift of being fucking talented, you fucking hacks. You have to be fucking talented. You can't just say, I'm a straight white male. Why aren't people giving me everything I deserve? You deserve nothing. Okay? You deserve absolute shit. Zero is what you deserve. You have to earn people giving a shit about you. Okay? So that's that's the first thing here. Now, the other thing here is is that like people are like, "Oh my god, but like fuck." <laughs> That's easy for you to say. Is it easy for me to say? You want to know why I can say that white, straight-ish dudes can fucking make a living writing books in today's fucking world? You want to know why I can fucking say that, you stupid piece of shit? Look at me. I'm assuming you live in some fucking podunk fucking town. I live in Los Angeles. It's fucking hard to live here. Being a fucking writer. Doing little fucking YouTube videos. <clears throat> having fucking affiliate links in your shit. Selling books on Amazon. Selling chat books on platforms like Etsy or through email. It's fucking hard. But guess what? fucking what you douchebag motherfuckers can do it so quit acting like it's fucking impossible and the world is fucking against you nobody fucking cares if 50 percent of the people are like you then possibly people would be buying your books and you would be able to make a living on it but since you're not we're going to assume that you fucking suck. That's it. 
There's no fucking weird, like, oh, I don't understand. Oh, you know what it is? It must be the woke agenda. There is no agenda. You're not good. Try harder. Be better. That's it. Look at your work and go, oh, this got sent back from a publisher and they said they didn't like this, 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 and that. Maybe if I change that, shit will be better. Or novel idea why don't you build your own fucking audience you douchebag why do you think you deserve anything at all what the fuck did you do to make anybody think that you fucking deserve anything even the oxygen you breathe who the fuck do you think you are try harder be better quit being a fucking douchebag if you don't fucking like what i'm saying you know how to find me I'm not hard to find. Fucking challenge me on any of this shit. I fucking beg you to. You fucking douchebag. Try or fucking shut the fuck up. For those of you who don't know, I will also be at the Bombay Beach Lit Fest um, at the end of March. I think it's either the 23rd or the 26th. And I will also be speaking on a panel about zines and chapbooks. Fuck you. Okay? You suck. You have no talent. And you're a piece of shit. Okay? So that's one. Wow. This this is what happens when you put a couple thousand drinks in me. Um, what's another one? Women and... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Women and the LGBT community can't possibly write good shit. Only men can. Because we like our shit edgy and fucking crazy. Guess what? I'm going to fucking open up a little fucking can of whoop ass on you right here. I read a little book called Naked Lunch when I was 14 and it completely blew my fucking mind. Because I was reading about rectal mucus. Okay? That book got banned in 1959. Fuck you. If you think straight dudes are the only ones who could write racy shit, you're a fucking loser. Pick up Naked Lunch, read it, and then go punch yourself in the dick because you're a fucking idiot. Okay? That's it. No, that's not it. There are so many women who are writing fucking, especially poetry, ridiculously graphic fucking poetry. You're a fucking douchebag. Whoever this is, it's so funny, like, there's this, like, fucking, like, NPC-type dude who is like, oh, fucking woke bullshit, blah, 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 Donald Trump, woo, MAGA, and all this other shit. And for those of you who are Republican and you're, like, all MAGA and shit like that, if you could listen to what I'm saying and not feel offended, I'm obviously not talking to you. I'm curious about your political affiliations. But at the end of the day, if you can listen to what I'm saying and know I'm not talking to you, no, I'm not talking to you. But those of you who are getting offended and feel like I'm attacking you personally, it's because you're a fucking douchebag piece of shit. And you have fucking absolutely no personality other than what your media is giving you to have be your identity. You're a fucking douchebag. You are a hollow shell of nothing. So fucking choke on your own dick and die. Jesus fucking Christ. This is why I don't do videos when I've been drinking. God, you guys thought my rants when I was sober were fucking hard? God damn. Okay, what, what's the next thing Brian said? People now can't write shit. Now, I'm gonna give a take that might be a little different than you're expecting. It's not that I don't think people can't write good shit now. I think that publishers have been kind of blinded by how the Amazon algorithm works. And so I feel like there are writers who are probably writing really good shit, but publishers and editors like change what they do to cookie cut it into what they know will sell on Amazon because going into the next point, book publishing is a fucking business, okay? And so a lot of books now are very fucking, like, you can almost, like, guess the next thing that's going to happen because that's 
what the publishers want because people like to feel good when they read something. Even if something sad happens, they want to feel good. They want to feel smart. People read books now because they want to feel intelligent. If people just wanted to be entertained, they'd watch TV. It's way easier and it's a lot more fun to talk about with people because more people watch TV. People read books because they want to feel important. They want to feel intelligent. Okay? So the best way to make someone feel intelligent is to make them feel like they know what's going to happen on the next page. Like they're smarter than the fucking author. Publishers know this. Editors know this. Amazon knows this. That's why the best-selling books, when you read it as someone who reads a shit ton of books, you go, God damn, this book is boring as fuck. Why is anyone fucking reading this? It's because when people read it, the serotonin kicks in and they feel good because they feel like they know what's going to happen. People do not want to be subverted. I've talked about this in videos recently. Subverting expectations is fucking toxic to selling books. If you want to sell books, write a book that is so fucking basic ass pumpkin spice latte fucking shit. Okay? That's how you sell fucking a lot of books. That's why the romance novel industry is so fucking lucrative. Every book in the romance genre follows exact steps almost to a page count t and those books sell ridiculous it's the biggest fucking genre that you could get into just saying okay so for those um straight white dudes that are trying to write something really fucking edgy and cool because like i read david foster wallace and i have fight club like an audiobook and paperback and fucking ebook bruh like nobody gives a shit the world's a different place now you suck okay Jesus fucking Christ. And that brings us to the last point. Oh, I didn't even really talk about people not being able to write shit now. I personally don't like the books that are coming out now, like modern books, because like, I prefer non-traditionally published books that are coming out now than traditionally published books that are coming out now. Because the traditionally published books that are coming out now follow the formula because the publishers even know even that they even understand that Amazon is going to be 80% of their business. Okay. So because of that, the art has been completely conformed into like a specific metered fucking robotic thing. So I prefer books that came out before Amazon, or at least Amazon's algorithm became sentient. <laughs> I'm not saying a good book can't be written now, but I am saying that from what I have seen, and again, like this is just me talking. I don't read as many books as you guys do because I'm too busy writing my own books. Because I don't give a shit. But the books I have read, like, people send me, like, oh, dude, you got to check this book out. Here, it's so good. I'll even get it for you and mail it to you. People mail me books. Tonight, I read a bunch of books. And only one of them I, were, was one that I actually purchased. I had a stack of ten books. And out of those ten, they were either purchased or given to me. And... I was not impressed after reading like the first so many pages. Okay. Just saying that is my spiel on that. And that doesn't really have anything to do with MAGA or dumb white dudes. It just has to do with how the fucking industry is right now. It's just, it's what it is. And you either suck the teat or you fucking find another dick to suck on. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. So the last thing Brian talked about was that a lot of these straight white dudes 
think po or think poetry. Think publishing isn't a business. Okay. And Brian made a really good point. Publishers are putting out books that they think will sell. And if those books sell, they will continue to put those books out. So, douchebags, if books written by, I don't know, black lesbians from Ghana are selling well, they will continue to put out books by black lesbians from Ghana. If they put out a book from a straight white dude from Wisconsin and it doesn't sell, they're going to not put out another book by a straight white dude from, from Wisconsin, especially if the book is about a straight white dude from Wisconsin. Okay? It's a different fucking time. And it has nothing to do with, oh, this is woke. It has to do with who's spending money on books. All of you fucking douchebag white straight dudes who fucking torrent fucking books off of fucking pirate sites and are complaining that the only books that are coming out are books by fucking, I don't know, like trans natives of blah, blah, blah. If all of you are not purchasing books by white dudes... How are you going to fucking bitch? Vote with your wallet. Like, did fucking, what's it called? Comics Gate or whatever the fuck they called it not teach you fucking anything? The books that, like, make money get continued. The books that don't will go as long as the company is willing to do it, but eventually they'll fucking cancel the book and start it with another number one next week. Who gives a shit? Okay? Oh, my God. I'm so fucking annoyed right now. You all piss me off, and you all make me sick. I, right here, look at me, look at this face, look at this sexy fucking face here. Okay. I am just like another 80% of white dudes that have sex with women who are able to fucking make some sort of living from selling fucking their written work. Figure it out. It's not hard. Build an audience and shut the fuck up and quit bitching because nobody fucking cares. If they did care, if the echo chamber you lived in mattered at all, they would put their money into your work, which they haven't done because they don't really fucking care that much. They just like to bitch. Just like you. So either try harder do better, or get a fucking job at McDonald's and shut the fuck up and just watch fucking shows on whatever stupid streaming platform you fucking subscribe to. But leave books to people who are a little more involved than your dumbass fucking shit. Okay? So fuck you. Type hard. Join the Anarchy Crew. Keep buying my books. And I'll talk to you all later. Cheers. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.